Hello everyone, Ellie Diecast, and I thought I would share with you some uh, muscle machines that I got. Uh, today I got four of these. The muscle machine line of cars, which you may or may not be familiar with. These uh, cars are sold through Walmart, if you're lucky. The Walmarts in my area, two of the three carry them but they get them in pretty inconsistently. And uh, the best place I actually have in my area to get them is a Hobby Lobby, but they really jack the price up on them. So I tend to wait until I can find them at Walmart, which is, which is maybe three, four times a year. Um, the cars themselves cost about three fifty, I wanna say. I think they're $3.50 each. And they are supposedly 164 scale, but uh, you can tell, do I have a Hot Wheels here? I don't have a Hot Wheels. Here's a, um, this is an action action car. Well, that one's upside down. There you go. How about Speed Wheels? The Speed Wheels cars, you can see, are smaller, and the Speed Wheels cars are pretty equivalent to a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox. So even though they're kind of stylized, they tend to be a little bit bigger than what most of the other 164s are. Um, and they're made by Maisto. You can see, oh, do we have a Hot Wheels? Oh, here's a Hot Wheels. So here's a Hot Wheels package next to it. And you can see Hot Wheels package is quite a bit smaller. Wheels are quite a bit smaller. Car in general is smaller. These are obviously kind of cartooned. So the um, they're just, they're bigger. But they're really nice cars. They have rubber tires. The rim work on these is amazing usually. And uh, they usually have these kind of big blown engines on them with uh, other details. So I like them because they've got a lot of parts and pieces um, that I can either leave them in their package and admire them or I can chop them up and use the engines. But um, this first one is the uh, Ford Model AA. And they come with a collector card. This back here is a little collector card. Take a look at the back. Here are the other cars in the series. I got this one, that one, that one, and no, that one, and that one. I did not get this one or this one, I believe. And um, you can see the other information there. I'll let it zoom in. Real nice artwork, by the way. I think Ronan Day does the artwork. Yeah, Ronan Day does the artwork for these. Really nice packaging. Uh, I was surprised they were made by Maisto, to tell you the truth. Or at least companies owned by Maisto, I should say. This is the next one. This is the uh, Chevy Bel Air, 55 Chevy Bel Air. Real nice. You'll find that these cars tend to have, there's about six or seven different engines on them that all the cars will use. They tend to have about 10 different rims. So even though they don't have a lot of different parts, they use the parts in a lot of different ways. And they also tend to come out with a lot of chase pieces. Well, not a lot, but a lot of various chase pieces and color combinations with these, which I have a hard time keeping up on. And these are the smaller, smallest line of muscle machines. They do make these in larger size. And this one is probably my favorite of this group. This is the Plymouth Savoy. neat cars usually by the way they do not have interiors so even though uh, they tend to put all the detail on the outside so no interiors with these it's probably where they save some of their money last one is uh, Mustang Boss 302 I think I said I didn't get this one and I did yeah got that one did not get that one that's the one I didn't get right there they didn't have that one. Otherwise, I would have got that one. Didn't like this one. This one was kind of a dull brown, and I didn't like that as much. I don't collect these so much as I kind of pick and choose which ones I want to get. So if you're not familiar with the muscle machines, they're, of course, available online. But you might check the, the stores like Hobby Lobby, um, maybe Walmart in your area kind of some of the stores off the beaten path. They are a little tricky to find, but if you find them, they're not particularly expensive. 
and uh, you know for what you get you're basically getting the equivalent of a you know super treasure hunt in a in a package for less than five dollars so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye